So many positives to take away from the performance for Mikel Arteta. In spells as well, um, Manu, they look to be finding their fluency as well. Odegaard is back and you can see that uh, when you have a special player you know, in the team, everybody wants to play with him. You have great movements, you know, everybody, everybody wants to play with him, wants to touch the ball in the small spaces. And they play in the, third, the, the last third of the pitch, you know, that this is exactly what I like Arsenal to play, you know. Yeah. Great movement, great passing and try to put pressure all the time in the defence. Three good Arsenal goals at the end of the day. Let's have a look at the first one. From Bukaya Saka, because if we've got Nuneri, who's the one for the future, the one for the present is very much this guy. Yeah, what a player. I mean, every time you're watching, you think, how on earth can you get onto the left foot all the time? <laughs> Everybody in the whole stadium knows he's incredibly left-footed. Yeah. Make him go to the right. Look, I love this little one too. Smart. Yeah. Talented. Look at this. Balance, patience, weight, weight. I mean, that is just, that's the most Saka goal you'll see. He's just, he's so calm. And I love that. I, always, I saw that a lot of dribblers, they, they go too quick. Slow down, you know, slow down, wait for the moment. I love this. Trying to get them off balance, little hesitation, find the moment, bang, brilliant goal. It's the maturity he's got beyond his years, right, man? Experience, the confidence as well. He knows that he's been a major threat for Arsenal, but as well one of the best prospects, you know, in Europe for the last few years. So he's raising, you know, he's improving years after years. So I'm very happy with him so far. Both of you welcome the, um, the substitute of Thomas Partey. And, I mean, his impact was almost instant, right? That's what I said, you know, when, I, when he came at halftime. I said uh, that's going to be uh, something different in the midfield. And uh, he get back so many balls and uh, on top of it he scored a great goal as well. So, but look at the movement. Odegaard at the beginning of the, of the action, you know. He left the space, he brings some defenders with him and this, this space was free and he, he, he understood completely what to do. Yeah. And then let's talk about the, the young prospect who's got a brilliant reputation. He scored already three times in the League Cup, but his first milestone goal in the Premier League for Ethan Nwaneri. Brilliant player. Yeah. That's what he's good at. On the half turn, receive the ball anywhere. Great way to pass. Gets into the great spot. Look at that. 17 passes into the goal. Doesn't smash it. Great little cutback from Raheem Sterling, but this young man is really special. He's going to be a feature for this Arsenal mm -hmm. team for, yeah. for a very long time. Precise finish at the near post. It's a moment he's going to treasure for so many years. And you can see second youngest goal scorer for Arsenal in the Premier League era, just behind Cesc Fabregas, an aged man at just 17 years and 247 days. What a prospect. I love that. I love the fight Arsenal is, uh, is working very well with his academy and uh, a lot of players coming from the academy to, to fill up in the a, in a first team. So with the DNA of the team as well. So for me, this is very important. Yeah, and because of what's gone on before in the previous four games, every game right now for the Gunners is a high-pressure one, isn't it? Yeah, but uh, they, they've earned the right to be kind of in that position. They put expectation on themselves because they're a brilliant team. The only thing, I think, the hardest thing for Arsenal is to take that final step, you know, to, go, to go win a trophy, to go win, to go win something. They're right there. But I do think they need, Manu mentioned before, they need a bit more depth in the squad. Mm. And also, the, they need a striker just to help out this team. They're this close, you know, they need to take that final step to, is, to push. Yeah, is that what you want to see in January? It's just to see a, a specialist It's difficult to get, you know, very good uh, uh, players during the transfer market yeah. in January. Have a look at the fixtures coming up. West Ham, Manchester United, Fulham, Everton, Palace um, and Ipswich. That's, um, how would you assess that as a, as a sequence of fixtures? 18 points. Least? Get some more points on the board. At least they, they, they must get at least 15 points on the 18th. Do you? So at least yeah, to win still, five of those? Of course, yeah. If you yeah. want to win the title, no, no. you have no choice. You, 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 I agree with Manu, 100%. The only one is the United game, obviously. Mm, yeah. Ruben Amarim, the, the new manager, that could be different. But this Arsenal team, they, they need yeah. to go on a little run here, put some pressure. Mm. Yeah. Okay, good start though. For Mikel Arteta's side after the international break. Let's stay in the capital then and bring you up to date with what happened at Craven Cottage between Fulham and Wolves. Wolves looking to make it back to back wins for the first time this.